Hey, welcome back to How To's Reviews. I have a review today on Jujubee's bag, the Be Prepared, and I have tons of questions all the time on the videos. I really love them. Thank you so much for asking your questions. And I have a lot of questions on newborns, and I'm thinking to myself, ah, I haven't had a newborn in a year. So I had to really rack my brain and try to figure out how to pack for a newborn again, um, a newborn with a toddler or two toddlers. And I think the Be Prepared is a great bag for that. And I have a lot of questions about whether or not this is the bag for that situation. So so that's what I did. I packed for a newborn and some toddlers. So um, with that being said, there are tons of different parenting styles and um, nursing, cloth diapering, formula feeding, disposable diapering. So I went ahead and packed it with cloth diapers and formula because I felt like those two take up the most amount of room. And if all of that big stuff fit, then you know anything less would totally fit too. So. Let's start here with the mommy pocket. This is my favorite mommy pocket of all the Jujubee bags and mainly because it's so big. Obviously the large size of the bag um, helps that. So in here I have a B major. This has all of my stuff for my wallet. Here's a small zipper pocket. I keep the little things in here that I want quickly like lip gloss or a hair tie, something that if you're really in a rush to get it, you know exactly where it is. Right here in this little elastic pocket, I keep an AviQ pen because one of my sons has a peanut allergy. And then this is meant for sunglasses, but it's really awesome for pens or tampons, all mommy needs. But down here, there are two mesh pockets, and these are really great for catching anything. You can put lotions in here, perfume, whatever you need. I have a little kit for a restaurant, just with some of the mats and spoons, anything you would need for like a little toddler for the restaurant. It's just really easy to put in there. And then the Be Prepared has a main compartment, two smaller pockets out on the side, and then two side pockets. So in the side pockets, I just have a sippy cup for the toddler and then a water bottle on this side. And then in a fr this front pocket that's in between the mommy pocket and the main compartment, there, it's a snap. And this is where I put the change pad. So I have this change pad folded in quarters because it is humongous. Uh, which is a great thing and it's so big. Um, it's a great thing, but it really doesn't fit well folded into thirds into the bag itself because when you when you start to pack the bag fully, it starts to curve. So it really does much better. Um, and it took me about four years to figure this out. I don't know why it took me so long, <laughs> but to fold it in half lengthwise and then fold it in half again. And then you have a nice little compact um, well, not little, but nice compact um, change pad, and you can just stick it right in this front pocket, and I go ahead and I snap it, so, and it just fits much better in there, so. And in the back, I have a day planner. This is just um, nothing fancy, it's just an orange circle studio. I think I got it at Barnes & Noble. And also, uh, I put my wipes back here because um, wipes with newborns and toddlers are totally necessities, go to really quickly. Somebody has a bloody nose, somebody has food everywhere, somebody has spit up. So I just put a pack of wipes in the back there so and it fits really nicely. Here, let's get into the main compartment. Now this is can be a messenger style and it can also be um, a tote style. And this flap is really nice because it is on a curve so you have a lot of open space here. The zippers go all the way down and it is gusseted so it can really open very wide on both sides. See how much space there is? I do tend to pack it zipped up because then everything just stays in place, see? so. Um, this flap is kind of nice because you can either zip it or you can tuck it right behind here in this pocket and it just, if you want an open bag. So I have a fuel cell here. This is a large set piece and this is a quick. So let's take the fuel cell out first and the fuel cell is what I have bottles in. Um, the fuel cell is really awesome for anything from an ergo to um, your lunch and it's insulated so I really love it and I actually don't bottle feed so I had to kind of <laughs> um, forgive me but I had to just kind of improvise here so I have some snacks for your toddler and on the top which would be great and then in here I could only find one bottle um, and then I have a pretend bottle <laughs> I think it's probably smaller than what most people use. Um, but then I have three little PediaSure things, so I think that would kind of represent the formula. I'm not sure if you know you could use um, the already pre-mixed formula or a lot, a lot of people use the powder formula, but 
Um, quite a bit fits in here, and that's all we're trying to represent now, right? So you could easily fit an ice pack also, um, or more snacks, and it there's definitely room to spare when it comes to this fuel cell filled with formula. The large set piece, I have four cloth diaper covers. These are best bottom covers, and in the best bottom system, you can use the cover and then you would snap in the insert, so um, the, the cover could be used multiple times. So I thought that on a normal outing um, for a newborn and a toddler that probably four covers would be good. So four fit nicely rolled up um, into the large set piece and then I also have a little um, bum cream in here too. And then this one has inserts in it that would go along with the cloth diapers. So this has four small inserts and two large inserts. So that would be four diaper changes for the baby and or for the newborn and two diaper changes for the toddler. So I felt like that was kind of a normal outing. Um, when you have a newborn, you don't really go places for long periods of time normally. So um, you try to usually tend to take it, you know, an hour or so at a time, but so four would, I feel like would be enough for this representation's sake. And then here you have a better idea of what the inside looks like. So there are six mesh pockets in here. There are two here, uh, two here, and then two on the outsides. These are actually color coded um, differently. So if you have like two in different sizes disposable diapers and you wanna put them there, um, you'll know like these are the ones and these are the threes or whatever. Um, but it's really nice that they have that little bit of organization. So in one of these longer mesh pockets on one of the sides, I have changes of outfits for everybody. That's how big this pocket is. There are a pair of shorts, a, a huge, two huge onesies, and then a shirt. And then, um, so that's a, that's a good size pocket. And then on the smaller side, I have two pairs of socks. So that fits really nicely. On the side here, I have an Itsy Ritzy Snack Happens pouch in Perky Perennials. This was like a um, combination collaboration that they did that was really cool. It's meant for snacks, but I have some needs for medical in here. And I feel like with um, newborns, you tend to take a little bit more with you. You know, I never have I ever taken my child's temperature out, in the, out and about, but I feel like when you're a newborn, <laughs> with a newborn, you just take it all with you. <laughs> Then on the other side, I have a wet bag. This is a Kanga Care wet bag. It holds about, um, I think holds like 16 diapers. And it's quite large. I just rolled it up and stuck it in the side pocket. But for if you had, if you were out for a long period of time and you had lots of cloth diapers or wet clothes or whatnot, these are really great to keep on hand anyways. So I just kind of roll it and stick it in the side easily. And then right here, let me turn this around for you. And then on this, on the technically the front of the bag, there are two more of the mesh pockets. So this one I have just some toys in for toddler. And then on this side, oh, there's nothing in there. See, there's more room, room to spare. <laughs> and then there is a pocket here that is the one that I previously stuck the um, the flap in. And here I have a couple of burp rags because I think that's what you need a lot of those when you have a newborn, right? Lots of burp rags. So down at the bottom, I have some swaddle blankets um, for newborn swaddles. I feel like you can never have too many pairs of clothing, too many burp rags, and too many swaddle blankets with the newborn. So the Be Prepared is a great bag if you have two, especially if you have two that are really close together or young or in diapers still. Um, I think it gets a little heavy, but if you're pack it right, it's definitely doable, especially for things like going to grandma's house for the whole day or going to the park or somewhere where you're kind of just going from one place to another as opposed to legging it around all day, like in a theme park setting. So you might want to backpack for that instead, but this is definitely a great um, option for if you need the organization, the internal organization, and if you definitely need um, the space because you have a newborn. Um, I hope this helped you. I hope that you are considering the Be Prepared for your diapering needs for your newborn. And um, I really think it's a great option. So leave me a comment below if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And if you would subscribe and like this video, I would really appreciate it. Come back again for more how-tos and reviews. Bye.